that, I have to talk to you guys about the latest thing that some people are doing to their homes. We're talking about solar panels. Everybody's working on saving the environment, right? We love that. Yes, yes. give me a yes, whoop, whoop for that. Whoop, whoop. Okay, there we go. Your people are buying hybrid cars. Um, they're using fewer harsh chemicals. A million things are happening that are better for the environment, including what one man has done to his entire home and his business. These mirrors aren't a vanity thing. They're actually a green thing. Scott Jorgensen outfitted the roof of his home with a solar panel system that he says is one of the most efficient collectors in the world. Why? Because it's producing heat and electricity at the same time. Okay, well, what you're looking at here is, is, is a series of, of mirrors and they're, they're, they're arranged in a cradle shape and they're focusing the sun onto photovoltaic cells. And so it's a concentrating solar system that's producing electricity from the solar cells. At the same time it's producing electricity, we're running water through the center of this, this box on top, which is called a receiver, and we're gaining heat from the sun. Again, the electricity is used for all the things we always use electricity for, lighting, computers, TVs. The heat is used for, again, heating hot water for bath and for laundry. It's also used for heating the house. And it all happens without leaving a big ecological footprint on the environment. You know, the system like this is saving, you know, 8,000 pounds of CO2 a year. It's equivalent to taking, you know, an auto, one automobile off the road. It's, it's equivalent to, you know, every year the system operates, it's equivalent to planting an acre of trees. All right, so you've got this big solar panel here. What, what are your neighbors saying about it? No, everyone's very supportive of it. How can you, how can you not support renewable energy? Hopefully one day we'll all see more solar panels on people's homes. People aren't going to solar because it, it, it hasn't been made simple and easy to, to purchase, to install. Uh, it's changing now. Um, the price is coming down and, and, and people are seeing that, gosh, you know, it's, it's okay if I, if I spend $10,000, I'm prepaying for my electricity for the next 20 years. Do you not get electric bills? Do you not get water bills? Yeah, no, we, you still have bills with the systems. Um, again, to go 100% off of the grid, it, it requires more, you know, two to three times as much, you know, solar panels as you have. So, so your bills are just greatly reduced. Yeah. Scott had a couple of great reasons to support improving the environment. You know, we can send people to the moon, we can send spaceships, you know, to Mars, but we can't solve our, our energy problems and our pollution problems. And so, you know, that's when I, I, I took it upon myself to set an example. Scott became so dedicated to his cause, he started SolarSoft, a renewable energy and sustainable technology company that creates these systems for private residences and businesses. He even introduced the system to his wife's restaurant, Estella's. Okay, so I know that these are not just roof panels, obviously. No, 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 this, is, this is a solar awning and it's, it's producing heat that we use for air conditioning. So this, this restaurant is the first restaurant in the United States, I think one of the first in the world, that is solar powered for heating and cooling in hot water. The system saves the biz about $1,500 a month. And they even have a contingency plan. What we're doing is the waste cooking oil that we have in the restaurant, we're using as backup for the restaurant's air conditioning system. So when it's cloudy and rainy, I don't have any sunshine, I'll use waste cooking oil. So this is a 100% renewable air conditioning system. All right, Scott, and finally, the taxpayer actually gets a credit for going green and using solar power. A absolutely, commercial taxpayers qualify for a 30% federal tax credit. Residential installers get a 30% tax credit with a limit of $2,000. There's no limit on commercial. So essentially, you're putting more green in your wallet than by going we green. We hope so, we hope so. <laughs> 
And a big thank you to Scott for doing so much good for the environment. You can go to daytimeonline.tv to find out where you can get solar panels. And Cindy Day, one of the funniest, actually one of the coolest things that he said was um, he thought the solar panels were sexy. They are. Aren't you know they? what? If they I save you money, so. it's sexy. Very, I agree. That stuff has come a long way because solar kind of went, came and went, and then you know now they've really developed it and taken it to a new level. Absolutely. And, and that was a, a prototype, so to say. You can do solar panels so many different ways. It doesn't have to look like that. Scott just liked the design of that. I love it. I, I, I like that too. house. Yeah. And I like what they're doing with the cooking oil. Yes. <laughs> That's really neat. It's a great thing. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn.